For so many people, this vaccine rollout has been, well, frustrating. One ordeal after another. Everybody's trying so hard to get this shot, but even the state's efforts to reach underserved communities, that's hit roadblocks, as we saw two weeks ago at St. Matthew Baptist Church, where confusion reigned and just a lot of folks were turned away. Brianna Ray Turner has a closer look at the community response. Yeah, I talk with neighbors on the north side of Jacksonville and they're standing by the NAACP's letter. They want vaccination sites just like this one behind me at the Regency Square Mall, but instead more in minority communities. Vaccine sites nowhere close to neighbors here in the north side of Jacksonville. A lot of people dying from from the COVID-19, but they don't have none available right here in this particular side of town. The NAACP is sending a letter out to Mayor Lenny Curry asking for a comprehensive plan, also adding that there is failure within the city and public health system. We're not in the loop of, of what's being done, what being, uh, how do we plan on vaccinating hundreds of thousands of people in Duval County. The primary factors that the NAACP once considered in determining priority population for the vaccine is a risk for morbidity and mortality, benefits accrued by vaccinating and equity. Family practice physician of North Jacksonville, Dr. Rogers Kane, says he feels the locations chosen for the vaccine distribution are not accessible for the elderly. I want this vaccine available to and, and have access to by all of the communities at large, everyone. In response to the NAACP and Dr. Kane, the mayor's office stating this letter demonstrates the lack of knowledge and information for how this process operates. 70 year old U.S. Army veteran who has underlying health concerns is a resident on the north side of Jacksonville and plans on getting the vaccine, but wishes the vaccination sites were a lot closer. I think that uh, if, uh, if there were more vaccination sites, then the people would be more willing to take to take the vaccination if they if they had more information about it. And yeah, I talked to other neighbors that were near Moncrief Road, but a lot of them didn't want to go on camera, but they say they do want more vaccination sites nearby and hope to see them live in Jacksonville. Brown Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. Thanks for that update. And if you still need a vaccination and you qualify, the Regency Square Mall site is offering shots. It is by appointment only, but you don't have to live in Duval County to get a shot there. The city runs sites at Mandarin Lane Wiley Senior Centers. Those two, they closed last week after the city's supplies ran out. For more information about how to sign up for a vaccine appointment, we will tell you exactly what we know going on county by county. It's all broken down on our website, firstcoastnews.com. You'll find it in the featured section about halfway down the front page.